FA level one, find a friend with two progressions. To start the session, the ball is passed from a target player to one of the middle players who then passes it back to a free target player. In this example, you can see the way the middle players combine to pass the ball into a free target player to score one goal. The target players now pass to one of the opposition team. The opposition team must react to find space to receive the ball. The whites now try and defend the ball. The pair in possession must move, find space and communicate and pass to a free target player to score a goal. The game is now repeated with the target players passing to the opposition team. Encourage the players to react to find space and to support the free target player. Pass to a target player to score. The game is repeated. The target players pass to the opposition team. Who look to combine together or pass straight into a free target player to score a goal. As soon as the free target player receives the ball, the opposition team are now in possession and react to find space to receive a pass. To score a goal, they must pass into a free target player. The first progression is that the target players must pass the ball back to the pair who passed the ball to them. Encourage the target players and the pair in possession to constantly support the player on the ball and communicate. Encourage accurate passing and good communication. As soon as the ball is passed to a target player, both players must look to react, to find space and support the target player. The ball must be passed through the middle players and into a target player to score a goal. The competition is that the team who make the most successful passes The second progression is that the target players can now pass to another target player. They can also pass to the middle players. So the choice is now with the player in possession. In this example, the ball is passed from one target player to another target player. As the ball is traveling, the team in possession must react and support the player on the ball. If the middle players receive the ball, they pass the ball into a target player to score a goal. If the ball is passed from one target player to another target player, that also scores a goal. The middle players will have to work hard to constant, constantly support the ball. The competition is that the team who makes the most passes in a certain time frame win. Encourage good communication and accurate passing.
In this progression, there are teams of four with the target players on the diagonal. The middle players should look to find space and support the ball with a view of combining to pass the ball into the target player on the opposite side. Once the target player has the ball, the middle players should support the ball. Sometimes the better option might be for the target player to pass directly to the opposite target player. As the ball is travelling, the middle players should be moving to support the ball. Good communication between the players would help enormously. Encourage players to support the player on the ball at all times. The objective of the game is for the team to make as many successful passes as they can without the opposition intercepting or winning the ball. The ball is passed into an end target player. The player who passed the ball must follow the pass and take the place of the target player. The target player should either run the ball or pass the ball out into the middle area where the two middle players look to combine to pass the ball into the opposite target player. The player who passed the ball now, mu now must take the place of the target player and the target player should either run or pass the ball out and take the place of the middle player. The players swap positions. Encourage players to use good communication and passing and movement. And the two players, one from the middle and one from the target area, should always rotate positions. The competition is to see which team can make the most successful passes. Play 4v4 in the middle and 4 players in the target zones. The players in the target zones should look to support the passers. When the ball has gone to a target zone player, the middle players should look to provide early support to receive the ball and look to switch play to a spare target player. Players in the middle should constantly be on the move to receive the ball with an open body and to pass to a free target player. Good communication between the players will help them succeed in this session. Passing the ball accurately and simply and providing early support for the player on the ball will also help a great deal. Here we see the animation at full speed. See how the players are constantly moving to support the player on the ball and to turn out of tight areas and pass to the free players in the end zone.